The financial support from, for the fostering side is critical really because although the carers do it as a, as a passion, they want to do it, they need to have that financial support to, to enable them to, to really look after that child in a way that they would want to treat their own children. And, and that income coming in would help support the day-to-day -day cost of running the house, the food costs, uh, the household bills, etc. So it is critical. Hi, my name's Linda. Um, I'm a foster carer. I've been a foster carer for 10 years. Um, I started in fostering by being a connected carer for a mum and baby. Um, and when that finished, um, I was then asked to become um, a foster carer. And then as we became more experienced, um, there was an opportunity to do a diploma and take on the level three skills, um, which gives you a, a higher allowance. Um, and, and the children that come through do have their their problems but you know they're still children and and you know and, and we're trained to look after them and how to deal with things so you know the opportunities are there to to look after whatever children you desire and 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 you know have a, a regular income so that you can do that and provide for them um, and live uh, provide a normal home and live a normal life with them um, and that's what it's all about the fostering is to, to give the children as much a stable environment as you can really so the fostering allowance for supporting the child can cover a, a multitude of things but probably the, the key things are activities um, sporting activities uh, it may be other activities social activities um, but it also supports their clothing and and also things that day-to-day -day life involves so it could cover a, a myriad of things. 